change of clothes because students at Keller Elementary in Green Bay are ready. Students at Woodland School in Milwaukee are ready. They are just a few of the 2,400 students around Wisconsin now ready for an emergency through the STEP program. STEP, or Student Tools for Emergency Planning, was developed by the Federal Emergency Management Agency, or FEMA, to educate school children about how to prepare for emergencies and how to react during a disaster. As part of STEP, teachers are provided with lesson plans and complete documentation for their students. The basic lesson plans for STEP can be taught in as little as one hour, but many teachers choose to dig deeper into the topics and stretch out the coursework over multiple hours or days. In addition, students are each provided with the beginnings of an emergency kit. At Keller Elementary School in Green Bay, students were asked to talk with their parents about items they should include in their emergency kit. Here, the students are sharing with the class the various items they put in their kit. Kids will bring in toothbrushes, they were bringing in toilet paper, they were bringing in their mittens, their hats, their favorite book, their favorite stuffed animal, and then one of them will say, oh yeah, and, and I can bring in this, and one of them will say, well, I'll bring you in one too, because I have two. So it was a nice sharing, a nice community building, um, that they're just thinking about one another and what they can do to help their families and their friends. They're exploring and they want to know more. Mm -hmm. And they're asking questions which I think are going to directly relate to helping them in the future. Mm -hmm. At Woodland School, a public charter school in Milwaukee, 7th and 8th grade students use the STEP materials to create games and teaching tools that they used to instruct the school's 5th grade and 6th grade students on emergency preparedness. Um, about two weeks ago, uh, we decided that we were going to be a part of this activity. And um, as the week went on, uh, we decided to make it a whole 7th and 8th grade project. And so each 7th and 8th grader uh, matched up with somebody and they were required to make a game or some sort of activity dealing with some type of safety in order to inform the 5th and 6th graders about uh, different safety regulations. On uh, my project, I and two other students, we uh, made a quiz game about emergency kits and what you could include in them, what you may or may not need. So we would ask them questions like, would you need this or this? Put in a few qu trick questions, you know, maybe you need both, maybe you don't. So, yeah, and um, it's pretty simple. A lot of kids enjoyed it. My friends and I, we created a game that had cards, and the cards on one side would have a question about fire, because ours was, our topic was fire, and then on the other side, it would say the answer, so if they got three answers right, we would give them a, a treat. They even created a scenario room where the older students acted out emergencies and how to deal with them. My favorite part was getting put in those scenarios where you really have to think about what you're going to do, make sure you have the right equipment for whenever you're actually in those scenarios so that you know how to react to them. Yes. It felt good. Like Informing and educating somebody on something new is always a good feeling for us, I guess. I now know how teachers feel when they teach us. Um, it felt kind of like I was older and that I was like they were looking up to me, so I felt like a leader. Yeah, we just informed that we had to evacuate the building immediately. The building could collapse at any time. So we're going to go to our public library. I think it's better to be prepared than scared. Uh, it's a real simple concept. Um, the kids are the ones who can drive the message home to the parents. Uh, the parents love this message, and you know, if the parents say it, then it's not so cool in 7th or 8th grade, but if the kids come home and say, wow, I know first aid, I know CPR, AD, all that, and the parents are going, whoa, maybe I should step it up a little too. But um, getting it down further into the grades, this was a nice way to do that. I was always wondering how we could do that, and you really provided us with some good materials for them. I think the biggest thing we learned today is fires and other natural disasters can happen anywhere and at any time, so we need to be prepared and ready for them. The teacher and student feedback on STEP is overwhelmingly positive. We'd like to thank the teachers and students in more than 100 classrooms across Wisconsin that took part in the program in 2011.